jump-starting an electric vehicle? Not something that you might have thought possible. But just like any other car, your Hyundai Ioniq 5 uses a 12-volt battery that helps to power vehicle systems, as well as enable the vehicle to turn on or enter ready mode. The Ionic 5 has systems to help prevent the 12-volt battery from discharging. But if it does happen, you are able to jumpstart the battery to get back on the road. The 12-volt battery is located under the hood, so you'll need to open the hood to access it. If you are unable to unlock your Ionic 5 using the smart key, you can still unlock it using the mechanical key that comes with the vehicle. Depending on the model year of your Ionic 5, it will either be located inside the key fob or will be a separate mechanical key. Hyundai recommends always keeping the mechanical key with the smart key just in case of emergencies such as this. First, press the front of the driver's door handle in. This will cause the rear of the handle to pop out slightly, exposing the lock. Insert the mechanical key into the lock and rotate it to unlock the door. Once inside, use the hood release lever, then open the hood. The battery is located on the right side of the compartment. Remove the covers to access it. If you are using a jump box, connect the positive cable to the positive terminal of the battery and then the negative cable to the grounding point in the compartment. If this does not work, attach the negative cable to the ground on the battery. Follow the instructions for your jump box to direct power to the battery. Then start your Ionic 5 using the start button and verify it enters ready mode. Once your vehicle is started, turn off the power to the jump box and remove the negative cable from the grounding point, then the positive cable from the positive terminal. Hyundai recommends using a jump box over using another vehicle for a jump start due to the extra risk of a misconnected cable. But if you are using another vehicle to jump your Ionic 5, turn off the other vehicle and put on protective eyewear or goggles to protect the eyes from possible acid splashes. Then connect the jumper cables in the following order. Positive terminal of the flat battery. Positive terminal of the jump vehicle battery. Negative terminal of the jump vehicle battery. Grounding point in the compartment or the negative terminal of the flat battery. Keep your face turned away from the battery when making the final connection in case of sparks. Do not allow the cables to touch anything other than the correct battery terminals or grounding points. An incorrect connection or reverse battery cables can cause sparks or significant damage, something most jump boxes prevent. Once all connections are made, start the jump vehicle and allow it to run for several minutes. Then start your Ionic 5 using the start button and verify it enters ready mode. Once your vehicle is started, Disconnect the jumper cables in the following order. Grounding point in the compartment or negative terminal of flat battery. Negative terminal of the jump vehicle battery. Positive terminal of the jump vehicle battery. Positive terminal of the flat battery. Be certain to replace the covers in the compartment before closing it and allow your Ionic 5 to remain in ready mode for at least 30 minutes to allow it to recharge the 12 volt battery. If the vehicle still cannot be started when jumping it, a battery warning light stays on after 30 minutes. Or if it cannot retain a charge after the vehicle has been in ready mode for more than 30 minutes, contact your authorized Hyundai Service Center. For more information on your Ionic 5, be sure to consult your owner's manual, available at My Hyundai, or the user's manual, accessible via the touchscreen. And be sure to explore the how-to guides on the Hyundai USA YouTube channel and at My Hyundai.